in April, we have 80 years coming. Um, and I've got 50 of that working downtown. <laughs> I got more business than I can handle. And we take care of our customers from start to finish. You know, you know what that means? They get their first haircut in a little car when a little kid. And you know, they go down to the funeral home at the end of their life. And if they can't come in, I go to their homes. My dad and uncle did that. So my philosophy is people have been coming to me year in and year out, and all of a sudden they can't do that. What kind of person would I be if I said, no, I'm not going to come in to your house? And I really like that a lot, going to the house, because it gives me a whole different feel. In fact, I have one this afternoon after work. If you go to beauty school, you can get your license faster. They, they learn to cut hair the easy way rather than the barber way. Like I learned, learned from my father, who learned from his father, passed down through the generations from Italy. And there's a huge difference, and the big thing is what you witnessed before when I had my straight razor out. So I really pride myself on the knowledge that I've gained from my customers. You know what professors like to do? They like to teach. You know, I'm 73 years old and I've got two years left on my lease up here and I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'll sit be 75 when my lease runs out and I just don't know. I mean, my dad and uncle worked into their 80s and I have people, you can't retire, you can't retire. And I said, well, yeah, yes, I can. <laughs> if I ever wrote a book about my experiences and all these stories, the title of it would be The Last One. The last one in my family in, in Michigan to do this for a living. I mean, after 220 years of continuous barbers, it's like, whoa. I think you get that.